my model work. Yeah. So I'm here to introduce our more little more about the line. Here, this is a next gen Z model, although it's kind of crowded here. So let me put one more for your reference. Give me a second. This is the next gen Z motherboard. This is the next gen Z motherboard, and sorry, I cannot expose the socket itself and the one damage. This is for the next gen, right? Yeah, for next gen Z. Yeah, next gen Z platform with a new CPU. Yeah, I cannot tell you what platform it is or how much the socket it is. I can tell you for the motherboard right here. All supports Wi-Fi 7. Yeah. All supports Wi-Fi 7 on the board. Okay. And all have the Easy Lash Plus design and the Easy Lash product design. Let me show you what I would that. Okay. So for the Easy Lash design right here, it's for many for the design by 60. You can easily remove the the VJ card is both here by pressing like this. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So. The other one is the M.2 Easy Click, so this one you can just like Oh, it. I see. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. so you're trying to remove, uh, install back, and here for the it's a yeah. completely screwless for the M.2 here. Yeah. So when you're trying to install and remove the M.2, other other board members yeah, cannot do that. So you can install that back right there, like just press it like that, and it's done. How many times? You can the duration of that. Yeah. yeah, it's over like a 10k. 10k, okay. It's over 10k times for install that. Okay, okay, yeah, so yeah. no need for, uh, there's no need to worry, okay. Not to worry about okay. that. Okay. And for this one, I want to show you for this DIY. Okay. This is also one of the uh, DIY branded features. And this one, you will see, is a Wi-Fi antenna. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. so when you're trying to install a Wi-Fi antenna before you need to turn, uh, it's very yeah, hard yeah. to install that. Yeah, yeah. So, with the new water antenna design, it's hard to just press and drag. Yeah, so that's for the internet gen. Okay. <laughs> and this is the. Uh, oh no, we missed the launch event. So I want to show you about the AI top the platform, the motherboard that can support the AI top utility. The to train the AI lock, the AI model locally. This is the DRX 50 AI top. That supports uh, eight pieces of uh, eight pieces of RDIM, which supports up to two TB RAM RDIM, and have the four pieces of the PCIe of the PCIe Smart 560 with Gen 5 design, also with the four Having also support the Wi-Fi 7, the Easy Lash Plus, Easy Lash Click, I just, uh, I just mentioned. And this is support, uh, this is a platform that supports one to, uh, one to the rest of the CPU for the thread linker. So with this model boards and the RD installed and the multiple VJ cards, you can train your uh, AI models locally with the AI top utility. I'm going to show you later. Yeah, I'm going to have a look on that. I'm going to explain how to you exactly why we should train the AI locally. Yeah. Um, so the total solution right here is for AI top uh, to train your AI locally. So let me have an introduction for how exactly why you need to train the AI locally. Before, like the like chat GPT is online, you need to throw a lot of data to chat GPT and do the do the do the counting and training. But it's not the same for some computational information, and also it's very costly when doing the online training for the AI because uh, it's just like uh, Google, if you're training the training the using the Google's GPU, if you're renting them, it's counting like a per minute. For like a five fifty US uh, fifty USD, it's quite expensive com compared with the uh, local training stuff. So we offer a solution not only for hardware but also with software. So with the uh, with the uh, this will be bundled with the hardware itself. And the uh, right here the AI top we did it before when you're trying to do the training. The you need to use the terminal like it's under a Linux kernel. As you need to uh, add a lot of command line when you're having some issue, it's very hard to distinguish what exactly happens. So we made it as a GUI, combined it with a very friendly user interface for user to configure and try to understand how to train your AI start from zero to the one hundred percent. So that one here, we have a lot of like. A, uh, I'm not sure if everyone understands how to train an AI. For the AI itself, it's kind of like asking AI to read a book. So the first thing you need to decide is whether you want to want them to understand like what kernel, by 
they want their model to use. They want their study you want them to buy that. So the multiple step things can be done here and using that you can guarantee have a local transit system with security and the